Buddhapisika Pali, Buddhapisika, Sanskrit, Buddhapisika refers to a broad range of Buddhist rituals used to consecrate images of the Buddha and other Buddhist figures, such as bodhisattvas. Terms Buddhapisika is known a number of different terms in various languages. The terms kayan, kai opening the eyes, kai guang, kai guang opening the light, and dianyan, dianyan dotting the eyes, and their derivative forms are used in the Chinese, Korean, where is it known as Jemin or Jiamen, Japanese, where it is known as Kagan, and Vietnamese languages, where it is known as kai quang diem nan, while Buddhapisika Burmese, Khmer, Thai, Father Fasek is used in predominantly Theravada Buddhist countries. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Chinese rituals. Kai Guang, simplified Chinese, Kai Guang, traditional Chinese, Kai Guang is the Chinese term for consecration of a statue of a deity. In Chinese, the literal meaning of Kai Guang is opening of light while it is often performed in the buddhist and taoist faiths it is also well known as the act of consecrating new lion costumes used for the traditional lion dance a kaiguang ritual varies amongst traditions but it is essentially the act of formal consecration for proper usage by dotting the eyes of a statue or lion costume using an calligraphy brush coated with cinnabar in Taoism and Buddhism, the ritual is performed by senior clerics and is done by inviting a specific deity, Buddha or Bodhisattva to empower an empty effigy of themselves and to fill it with a divine essence. The usage of a mirror to reflect the sunlight and a dry towel to symbolically clean the statue of filth is also employed. It is believed that if a statue or lion costume has not gone through kaiguang, it cannot be worshipped or used for performance, as the eyes are still closed. <laughs> Burmese rituals Burmese Buddhists perform consecration rituals for images of the Buddha used for veneration both at home and at public places of worship, such as monasteries and pagodas. Before a Buddha statue is used for veneration, it must be formally consecrated in the Buddhapisika Mangala ritual. The Burmese language verb for consecrating a Buddha image is Anagazatin. This consecration ritual is led by a Buddhist monk, who recites Anika Jati Samsaram translated as Through the round of many births I roamed, the 153rd verse of the Dhammapada found in the 11th chapter, which are believed to be the first words uttered by the Buddha upon attaining Buddhahood. The consecration rite, which can last a few hours, is held in the morning and consists of four primary parts. Offerings, candles, flowers, incense, flags made to the Buddha. Chanting of Parata, typically Mangala Sutta, Metta Sutta, Ratana Sutta, Pubhana Sutta. Recitation of Anika Jati Samsaram. Recitation of the twelve Nidanasta consecration rituals are believed to imbue the Buddha image with a sacred quality that can protect the home and surroundings from misfortune and symbolically embody the powers of the Buddha. Topic. See also Abhaseka